Howdy folks, I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. We're going to go out to the uh, Quinlan, Quinlan Flea Market. A little burg, oh, I don't know, about 40 miles, I guess, from our house. Something like that. I don't know, I don't care. It's just distance. In Texas, we don't measure by mile. We measure by hours that you have to drive. If it's within three or four hours, that's essentially going out and picking up the newspaper or a, or a quart of milk or something. That's how things are. That's how we roll on our 15s here. We're on old Highway 80. This one goes way, 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 way out through Louisiana and I think in the Mississippi. You know, it goes, it goes out east. Elvis drove this highway quite often. It was the main way to go between uh, uh, Dallas and Shreveport, you know, if he had to play the Big D Jamboree and then head to Shreveport for a night of festivities at the uh, Hayride, well, he'd drive on this highway. That's just your little Elvis factoid of the day. All right, let's check this place. Check it every now and then. When they first opened, I found a lot of good records. I haven't found anything since, but I'm passing by. Might as well. Okay, nothing new, so that's quite all right. Well, maybe you've done a lot of rocking. Well, maybe you ain't been here before. Well, hold on tight. Maybe you ready. Maybe you're going to like a big ball. You're going to down a slap face and beat. Have a fun. Well, that was cool. Uh, the guy uh, had a bunch of 45s. I hardly ever catch this place open, so I'm glad it came out on a Saturday and caught them open. And I got a handful of 45s. Let's see, 11 of them. There's one pretty good garage one in there that I think is pretty neat. A few Common Sun records and just a handful of different this and that to the other. Now we're gonna pull up here and just do an in the car glance and see what they have. You see any records, Jesse? Help me take um, a look. Uh, I don't see any records. No. I don't see anything I wanna stop at. All right, so I'm done with that one. I like it when they make it easy. It saves me steps and steps are, are good things to save. My old dad, rest his soul, you say, oh, you're only allotted a certain number of steps in life. You take too many on the front end, you're gonna lose them on the back end. He had some neat, weird ideas. But anyway, I celebrate them nonetheless. So let's go over here to the flea market, do some walking, use up some of them steps. Okay, I have arrived to the flea market here in Quinlan and uh, Jesse has opted to sleep in the car because he's Sleepy Bear, yeah. I have opted not to bring my record player with me because that just about ensures I'll run across records. It's a thing I'm working on. I'm not superstitious or nothing, but it just seems to work out that way. It feels like there ought to be records. Huh? Albums. No 45s yet. I think I see some 78s. There's some 45s. Let's see what we've got. 
Oh, Wilburn Brothers. A little too beat. That was a good bopper. Hey, this is decent. Uh, if it's a dollar, I'll get it. Might as well. So good with Grady Martin. Mm. Yeah, but it's 12 inch 78, don't want them. Mm, I'm seeing 45s down there. Mm. No, they're not in good condition, unfortunately. I'll get this one. Well, got me a dollar record. Okay. Appreciate you. So that's a fast cover of the Bill Monroe song, but it came out after Elvis did his first record on Sun. And this one's kind of modeled after that, so it's pretty good. Hank Williams, Jambalaya. Oh, cool. An old wizard. Well, not old. A new wizard. Those are great. My dad had one of those growing up. I think I've seen those. That looks familiar, but... Yeah. Well, I'll check back with you. Thank you. Farley. Huh. Gotta look at that one up. It's about a boy's ranch for troubled teens, but that flip side, maybe it's a rocker. No, it's a narration record. I want Mary to do with narration record. Okay. Okay, I got me some records here. Let's. <laughs> Look at. Do you know who would be in those? Cheryl. Doing well. Anything new in the records lately? No, I'm having a new vinyl. That's all right, huh? Yeah. I'm not myself. I like the movies, but. Yeah, it's only use I've got for him for sure. Yeah, it's my car, but but yeah. Yeah. No, unfortunately, no. I wish I did it for you. That's all right. I'll keep checking with you. Know, Have a good one. Well, all right. Coming up to Tiny Town, Texas, Will's Point. Ooh, there's a sign that says downtown. Yeah, don't let that fool you. But anyway, yeah, we're going to go check out the downtown area. I don't recall there really being any antique places or junk stores anymore here. But anyway, like I say, let's go check it out. And that was Will's Point. Yeah, nothing there for me. Nothing to stop at, nothing to consider. Ah. Well, okay, I found some stuff. Just got home. Jesse's going to watch his game. There's a pretty good, kind of folksy, but it's it's got some really solid band in there. It's a garage thing, the solid state, the lynching. It's about as happy as a song as you could imagine. Movement of Kentucky, Phil Gully. We've spoken about him already. Dale Hawkins, Can't Pass Him Up. Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee on Sun. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell. Bobby Helm, somebody asked me for that. A instrumental on a Texas local label. Truck Driver's Luck, Van Ray. That's actually pretty good, truck and studge. And it is autographed. More Johnny Cash on Sun and then old Gene Summers. Here's the best one though. Tommy Sansom, Do You Love Me? It's a rocker. 
But the guitar solo's the key to this one. Now, I like that. That's good. Can't find out much on it, but I can make a little coin with that. Certainly worth their dollar that I paid. Not in the best shape. Don't care. So, y'all have fun. Uh, stay tuned. We'll go out and find some more monsters soon. I've just been kind of taking it easy lately. Ciao.